Hello everyone, welcome. This is Christine with Powder Crafts and today I am here with a design team project for Scrapping for Less. Today I am using the stamp set Cup Full of Joy by Your Next Stamp. So this is a coffee themed card. The stamp set is so adorable. It has an image of three coffee cups, a couple of hearts, and the sentiments are sunshine, happiness, and three cups of coffee, sending you a cup full of joy and full of joy. So we'll be using the coffee cup images, the heart stamps, and the sentiment sunshine, happiness, and three cups of coffee. So I am trimming down some paper from my stash. Um, it was just loose, so I'm not exactly sure what the manufacturer is, what the name of it is, um, so I apologize for that. I am using some hot fudge cardstock from my favorite things as my card base. So I'm trimming down my pieces and I'm thinking at first I'm going to use this piece for the bottom, but then I opt that I want to use this scallop here, so I'm going to use this on the bigger piece for the top half of the card. So run that through my die cutting machine and I'm going to go ahead and lay that there. And I'm going to put my sentiment on the bottom towards the left. I'm going to heat set this sentiment. Um, I really want to make sure it stands out against the brown pattern paper that I am stamping on. Just using some powder, setting my sentiment up and then I'm going to use the VersaFine Onyx Black ink. Stamp that a couple of times and then I'm going to um, pour some clear embossing powder over that and heat set that with my heat gun which has been running so it was nice and hot so it was able to uh, melt that embossing powder quite quickly. Also from my stash I'm bringing in this brown ribbon. It's kind of a thick ribbon um, I'm just adding adhesive right to it so it stays exactly where I want it. And then I am going to start to put things together. Put down this bottom mat here. And then I'm using foam adhesive for this part, the little top half. And now I'm going to color in my image. I am using Copic markers. <clears throat> I did forget to write down the colors, um, but you can, I mean, they're, they're little coffee cups. Just color them whatever makes you feel good. I'm using some blues and purples. I am so sorry <laughs> for all that racket. Um, some blues and purples and then I'm using some orange and yellows and the bottom's like a blue greenish and some pink. Those are the colors that I'll be using. <clears throat> I'm using about two shades for each color. Putting the darker colors to the outside of the um, cups and on the inside of the rim of the cup and on the middle of the bottom of the plate. I tried using a colorless blender here to do some tip to tip coloring because I didn't really have um, these two orange colors that really blended well. I, I didn't find you can do that with a colorless blender. I figured I would try, but it did not work. Um, so what I ended up doing is just coloring that whole cup that color. Then I brought the colorless blender in and took color away from the middle portion where I would want the highlight. So live and learn and try. I was trying to hope that some of that orange color would transfer to the colorless blender and that it would give me a little light, lighter color of that same orange, but 
That did not work. However, it did work to lay down all of the color and then take the colorless blender where I wanted it to be lighter. But you don't know if you don't try. So once this is all colored, I'm going to put some foam tape on the bottom part and then um, some ATG on the top part. I did have to tear a little bit off because that piece was a little too big. Once that front part is done, I'm adding a white mat to the inside of my card. I'm going to grab the two sentiments. One says, sending you, and the other says, a cup full of joy. I tried putting them together on the acrylic block, but they didn't seem to want to line up the way I wanted them to line up. So I end up just um, doing just one at a time. Just stamping that with some Memento Tuxedo Black ink. Sorry, head got in the way. I wanted to make sure it was lined up the way I wanted it. And then just adding um, the heart. There's a small and a large. And then I'm going to go grab some sequins. Well, of course, I'm adding my Wink of Stella first, but I will go grab some coffee-colored sequins. These are some uh, sequins that we received in one of the Scrapping for Less card kits. I want to say last winter, um, but any assortment of like brown or cream-colored uh, sequins would work for this. So I'm not exactly sure where I want to put them, so I'm just kind of adding a bunch on I will take some off and move them around when I actually go to adhere them and there we have it that is this card for today using the Cup full of joy, your next stamp. If you like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more and you're not already, please hit that subscribe button. But until next time, bye.